Hello and welcome back to uh, our Feed the Beast Let's Play. I am Underscore. Um, we're just here in our little shack next to the mob spawner that we built. Uh, the vines are starting to grow in a little bit. Um, looks like we need to put some on this side. I, I guess I neglected that side. But uh, I built a little flax farm um, to get some more string. Uh, I wanted to plant up the wheat farm uh, that I built down there, so I constructed this uh, seed bag. Um, I was a little confused by it, so I did uh, publish a little tips video on my channel just for you know folks to find through Google search that uh, explains how the how this thing works, which is just a shift and right click to, to put seeds in or take them out. Um, I also built this uh, cactus farm over here. It's a, a little automated but not very. Um, I just took some fences and placed at the second level so they would automatically break and then uh, the water should carry the items down. Um, I'm not sure if there's potential for items to land on these little uh, cobblestone sections. Um, they could probably land over on this part, uh, but... Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. It's been as efficient as I need it to be, so I'm not too worried about it. A couple things that I want to accomplish uh, next is... I'd like to get started with the bees, and even though I'm not finding a lot of beehives around here, um, I do need to put together a squeezer in order to make the apiaries, and if we go into NEI, I can show you the reason for that. The bees that you get are contained in these apiary things, uh, which are made out of just planks and um, half slab planks but also you need this impregnated casing and that's made with just logs in a carpenter but you need this seed oil and the way to get the seed oil it says liquid transposer but the squeezer is what you need to get that so we're gonna go ahead and make a squeezer and also uh, branching into industrial crafts a little more I would like to also get the infamous electric jetpack, um, which should be fairly easy. We just need to make some batteries, uh, some copper cable. I don't know if I have the stuff to make the copper cable up here, so I might need to go to the basement for that, namely rubber I think I need up here, because um, I have the rubber in the basement. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we have the stuff. I have a sturdy casing. So what else do we need for the squeezer? It is just some tin and some glass. So that's fine. Uh, where's my tin? Tin here. Sturdy casing and glass. Perfect. That went very quickly. So I'm going to hook this up and get it started. Uh, that's kind of on the way to the basement. I did build around this a little bit. I'm trying to decide uh, what I want to do um, as far as the structure is concerned. I'm not sure if I want to make this the roof or I want to try to build above the tree farm at all. But I do have some stuff built below it here that I'll show in a minute. Uh, I kind of built this out. I brought the thermionic fabricator up here. Um, I did finish the pulverizer, the powered furnace, and the induction smelter that I talked about in the last episode and hooked those up. And I'm just trying to get a structure together here of, of the different build craft things. Uh, since I have sort of a collection of these things going over here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the squeezer up here as well. The thermionic fabricator I don't have really hooked up right now because it seems to draw power regardless of um, 
whether you're actually using it for anything, I guess. So I figured I would just save that energy. Oh. Poor. Poor as far as parkour. Anyway. So maybe I can go this way. Ah, perfect. I don't think I'll have that problem with the induction smelter, so this is fine. The reason I was concerned about hooking up the induction smelter is because if nothing's in the induction smelter and the power gets up to this end, the trick seems to be to have something that will consume power at the end of the chain, and then you don't have to worry about power building up in between there. So if I have the carpenter active, I'm hoping that it won't blow up the pipe Oh, did this tree just grow? Anyway. So I'm going to put these in the squeezer. And hopefully... Okay, there it goes. It's building things up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these in as well. Shift and right click. Perfect. And then put these in. And we'll hopefully get enough to make a couple impregnated casings. Um, so that we can make some apiaries. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to talk about, this setup with the logger, uh, I had an issue where I wasn't getting the saplings out of it. I just had the pipe connected from the side of the logger going into the chest. And for whatever reason, I was not getting any saplings. So I added another pipe on the bottom just to see if maybe that would cause things to work a little better. And now I'm getting saplings. So I guess the, you know, something to keep in mind when you're you have a logger and arboretum combo is that you need to put the pipe on the bottom, yeah, as well as the side. Uh the other stuff, the logs and and I believe the apples as well seem to come out of the side. But for whatever reason, the saplings, I don't know, maybe they intend for you to put it on top of the arboretum, and then the saplings would automatically go down into it. I don't know. But I have, the way I have it split now, half the saplings would go back into the arboretum itself um, to sort of restock it, and half of them should randomly go into this chest, which eventually I would like to use that um, in the fermenter. Uh, to cook up some more uh, biomass. How are we doing on fuel? Okay, we're good on fuel. So, I don't know why I'm carrying around glass panes, so I'm just going to drop those off. Anything else we can drop off here? Those, those. Ho can stay up here. That can stay up here. Stay up here. Anyway, uh, I do have a rubber tree in the mix here, just so every once in a while I get rubber tree. I'm hoping that it like generates saplings somehow, but so far I only get uh, one for one. Okay, so we should have all the materials we now need to make the jetpack. Um, so I have my electronic circuit here. I made a plan. Uh, to make the advanced circuit, uh, so I can just drop that in here and pull the advanced circuit out. Um, I also made a bat box, so I believe if we put things in this configuration, we will get a jetpack. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to charge the jetpack, um, so I did make some industrial craft stuff. Um, in order to charge the jetpack since we went to all the trouble of making it. So what I will do at this point, oh, the sun's coming up just in time. I'm not sure where that spider noise is coming from. There he is. Are you killing my flowers? I put this little redstone light here to let me know that there's cactus. Unfortunately, the XP orbs also set off the wooden pressure plate, so... Little spider eye. 
I'll put away my mod drops here. Um, what I also wanted to make was a tree tap, but not the regular tree tap, the electric tree tap. So I need an electronic circuit, which I don't remember if I made a plan for that. I did not. Um, so let's go ahead and make an electronic circuit, which I believe we might need. Oh, no, here's some wire here. So, put the electronic circuit together, and I might want to make a plan out of that, just for future use. So we have stuff for more electronic circuits. And what else do we need? A battery and just a regular TU tap, so we have enough wood in here to make a tree tap. And I have an extra battery on me and an electronic circuit. And what did I do wrong? Okay, there it is. So that'll make it easier for us to get rubber going forward. Um, and I made an extractor to go with the geothermal generator, so we should be able to have rubber here. Uh, the question is, how do I want to set up the industrial craft stuff? And I think what I might want to do is leave all the build craft stuff up here and then just build down um, for the industrial craft stuff. So with that in mind, I need to make a shovel apparently. So go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna dig down here. start clearing this stuff out. I'll leave I'm not sure if I want that to be the floor or this. Maybe we'll leave a gap in between. So we'll go down one more. So I'm going to just clear out some of this, and then um, probably do fast forward through this section, and then I'll come back. Okay, so we got most of it dug out. I even have a turtle digging down a little more um, in case we want to put some additional levels below. I'll probably stop him before he gets to bedrock though. Um, but we're at the point uh, where we can start to try and pipe this down. So I built a couple of pipes. 